Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Station Years. It is morning, 8 o'clock and we are crafting a couple of iron frames because I want to build another room today. Slowly but surely we will have to take care of the replacement for our gas system and naturally we're gonna make it a little bit more grandiose than the previous time. First things first, uh, let me grab all of these iron frames, we're gonna need them, but we're also gonna need something else, and that is a whole bunch of tanks, if I'm not mistaken. Kit tank, I think that's gonna be it, I'm not so sure though. 5 grams of copper, 20 grams of steel, so at the moment we can only make 4 of them before we have to craft some new alloys. However, it is actually the right tank, so I'm thinking we should start placing them down. Right here in the corner is probably good. Let me see. I'm not sure if the pipe axis is at the right spot at this point. Let me place it right here and see how that looks. Yeah, that looks about right. I want it to stick out so I can actually see the pipe at this point. Let's see. There were some pipes rolling around. Yeah, I should grab them before they run off. And then I guess we're gonna come down here a little bit. Okay, so there's gonna be lots of things to think about actually doing this. Let me see what we already have. We have a pipe meter that could be good, but we want a volume pump. A pressure regulator is also gonna be good. Pipe gas mixer, not necessary at this point. Pipe valves, I don't need those either, but I'm gonna need the kit atmospherics, right? So maybe let's swap those very briefly. Where would we want to set up the kits? We would want to change them to filtration and could we set them up here in the wall? I mean, is this such a bad idea? Hmm, I'm not 100% sure. I actually liked to see these guys, to be honest with you. I don't want to hide everything in the walls. Let's see, what if we had them brushed up against the wall? Something like that, so we can hide the cabling in the wall, but we're still gonna have the piping system in some way. Let's see, can we set up the pressure regulator right here? Of course, this would need to face into the other direction, something like that. And then we would require a tank, so we don't have enough space for this shebang. What if we did something like that instead? So we can have our first system right here, and then the second system can be arranged in the exact same way. And of course, this would have to go on for all of the gases. Hmm, I really don't like it. Let me think about this for just a second. Okay, there we go. How about this solution? We have the tank which is connected up to the output of the filtration system. The input is right here in the back. And then of course the waste gases go back into the input as well, just like before. So here we would sort out the oxygen for instance and then we can set a certain pressure right here. Maybe let's go to about 9000 or so. And we can fill up canisters with all the gases, essentially. There we go, 9000 kilopascals should be good. Of course we will also have to hook this up with the power. Now the power is another thing. Let me actually break open this wall here. What we want to have for this is probably yet another APC unit. I want to do this thoroughly. So let's see if we can actually craft one of those. Set this to on and we want to search uh, the power control, area power control. Uh, right there, actually, it's just called power controller. We have more than enough materials, so... I'm gladly taking that. We should probably be able to set up the unit right here. I think that is a good idea. So we can take the curve and kind of sneak back there. I'm also gonna need yet another battery. Soon we have to produce some of these bad boys. We should also have some more heavy cabling in order to actually hook this up. Let me see. We're just gonna take apart this uh, corner. Can I do that? That's the wrong tool. There we go. Just taking apart the corner and switch it into a three-way. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, sometimes this takes me a long time to figure out the orientation. I just don't like the rotating system. Uh, we're gonna go straight here, that's fine. There we go, two more straight ones and we are hooked up beautifully. I'm gonna grab my normal cables right now, that should be enough to continue this. And as I said, we wanna take the curve and then just go straight back here. Now the cable is not visible, I should actually take apart the frames. We don't really need them, but... At this point I can kind of imagine where stuff is, so I don't really mind. Okay, my filtration system is hooked up, we just need the filter which is somewhere over there. And let me see, filter, yes, oxygen, that's gonna be our first one. I'm gonna place that right here and everything in relation to oxygen should be white, more or less. Let's see, uh, do we have choose? We don't have choose here, I did something wrong. Yeah, I didn't turn it on I think, there we go. 
So now the filtration system is working. That's great. And also my pressure regulator should be turned on, I guess. Uh, but we need to hook that one up. Totally forgot about you. Well, so far so good. Uh, both of these things should be turned on. However, we should also have a switch in order to control that. So we need to set up a switch. Uh, don't I already have one here? Man, I can't get around here. Whoop, another thing I totally forgot about is my battery charge. Thankfully, the game does remind me every now and then. Uh, logic switch, beautiful. That's exactly what I need. We want to place this guy probably here. Let me see, I don't think I can actually place it on the walls here. Maybe what we could do is take a little curve with the pipes right here. Let me see, we could go straight down here instead. We still use a T-junction to do that. Then we can go down, ah, just one block actually. There might not even be enough space. All right, well, I guess we could place it here. Here it's actually quite all right, it's not too intrusive. However, we're gonna need to hook this up with our cabling right there. So let's see where we want to come from. Uh, we probably want to go down here. Yes, we can do that. Okay, now it's kind of hard to see what I'm really doing. And we also only have one cable left. So we need at least one, two, three or so more. Let's build ten more. Cable coil heavy. Thank you. Ten pieces. Okay, let's wrap this up very briefly. I just need to swap this with a junction. Et voila. Now my switch should be hooked up. All we have to do is we have to add a reader that switches off this APC unit. So my suggestion is to actually name this. This is going to be APC and it is the filtration system. Or maybe let's call it gas filtration system to be even more accurate. We still have some logic units, no problemo. Just hanging on the floor. And I guess it's time to finally get rid of this wall so I can hook this up properly. Somewhere along these lines. Great, let's grab the rest of our cables and finish this. Et voila, we got it hooked up. This is my reader gas filtration system. What do we want to do with that? Ah, darn it, it is not a reader. <laughs> we want to have a writer. So logic writer, there you go. Let's name it again. Writer gas filtration system. Our input is going to be the switch since this is the only switch we have really. I will name this one later. Okay, we got our switch. The output is going to be the APC unit. APC gas filtration system, perfect. And we want to uh, turn it on, off. Uh, what do we want to do? Ah, yes, we want to turn it on and off. Okay, so let's add that. And there we go, it is turned off at the moment. If I switch this, then everything is going to be turned on. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, so far so good. Let's actually fix up a couple of things that I've broken here. For instance, uh, yeah, we don't really need this one anymore and I'm just gonna actually fix the entire flooring here. Because for today we don't need any more modifications in this room. Now let me see, the pipes are probably going to disappear, so they don't necessarily need a color, but the tank storage definitely needs a color. Maybe we can also color the pressure regulator and then of course the tank. Let's actually see, we should have some white right there. I want to definitely paint this one white, then this guy is already white. We can even paint this guy. Okay, that's great. Okay, let me take a little recording break right here. I'm gonna do it for maybe two more gases. I don't think we have more materials, right? We're gonna run out of the steel very soon. But yeah, I still wanna make some progress today in this episode and present you with the results. So I'm gonna need at least a little bit of space. Also, one more thing I would like to solve is uh, the issue with uh, those tanks here, the portable tanks. I actually still do want a portable tank and we will have to think about that too. So maybe I actually take a curve here as well and bring it to one of the tank connectors with another pressure regulator that is uh, set to a higher pressure, of course. I still wonder if I need volume pumps at some point. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna catch you in uh, just a second once I've made some progress here. All right, guys, we are back and I actually made a couple of additions. First of all, I decided with this switch, I only want to influence the filtration systems. They actually emit a sound that is quite annoying. And I believe they also suck a lot of power, contrary to these units. I'm not too sure, though. I decided still I want these units to be running and as you can see I also added a console that is actually measuring the tank above it. At the moment of course we have nothing in the system. At the back right here we want to input the gases and everything else is already prepared for the machines I want to attach. 
Now in this video we're only going to do the first three gases and then the rest I'm probably going to do off camera. But what we need is uh, two more of these uh, tank thingy majingies. We need two more of the pressure regulators and two more consoles. And I think that is actually everything. Let's go ahead and start crafting this shebang. The console should be right here. Perfect, I want two of you. Next up we want this tank thingy majingy. Ah, the gas tank storage, there we go. We want two of you as well and uh, two pressure regulators, right? And of course I cannot find the pressure regulator, so maybe let's go ahead and do the circuits first of all. We are gonna need circuit board to gas this place, two of you. Oh, we are missing the copper right now. This is bad, of course. That means I have to go on another mining trip. You go right there, beautiful. We're also gonna pick up the atmospheric kits. I want two of you. And we want to swap that into the filtration system. And of course we want to turn it around. It should fit perfectly right here with everything connected. That is just what I wanted to see. What is the next gas? Actually, let me think. We have pollutant, water, nitrogen. Uh, we already had oxygen, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe CO2 could be the next one. Mm, no, I actually would like water to be the next one. So water is gonna go right here and then CO2 is gonna be the third. Good, next up at the consoles and the circuit boards. I can only pick up one circuit board, but two consoles. Let me see, I can actually attach it right there thanks to the cable. So you go right here and another one goes right there. Great. We put in the circuit board as well. Ah, beautiful. It is morning once again. That's great. Let's put on the glass right there. And we also want to grab ourselves the data disk. I carefully placed it here on the ground. Data disk goes into the bottom from the looks of it. And we want to select the right tank. So maybe before we do anything else, we should go ahead and name these. This is going to be tank oxygen. This is going to be tank water. And this one is going to be tank CO2. Can we see that now? Tank water? Yeah, that's what I want. We take out the disc and it should be hooked up to the correct tank and we will be able to see what's going on. Same thing right here, but we want to insert the disc and we want the tank CO2. Let me select that, please. Right, now the only thing that's really missing are the pressure regulators. Mm, so I guess I have to go through this list one more time. Ah, it is a construction kit. Okay, pressure regulators. Ah, we don't have enough copper to make two of them. That is such a shame, such a shame, but but it's all right. I'm not gonna complain. We can finish one more, that is good enough. We can paint this uh, blue for water. Uh, there we go, this seems to be the right spot and I want to pump this up all the way to 9000 as well. Let's grab some blue. I got some blue here. And we want to paint this one blue, and I guess we could also paint this one blue. Why the heck not? I mean, everything should be blue. Oh yeah, I like it. And can I paint? I cannot paint the filter. That would have been great, though. Okay, nice. I like that system. In the next episode, I'm gonna have this finished, hopefully, at the beginning. And then we can start filling this up again. The only thing that's still missing at the moment, and I think I'm gonna attach this right here to each system, is a tank connector with the portable tanks. Actually, maybe we could already arrange that right now. Why the heck not? Let me see. We are gonna need a blue tank and let me get rid of that. I want my black tank for the CO2. So we could turn this around and do something like that. This would be a little bit more compact here. Hmm, I'm not so sure. We have to test this. Let me grab my uh, CO2 tank. Come back here gonna place you right there. Don't fall. There we go. Is it in the way? Not really. It's actually the perfect orientation. Oh, I like that. Uh, do I have some more pipes? Right there. They're always rolling away. So we would want a corner right here, something like that. Do we want another pressure regulator for that? I hope it's not necessary, but it might be, to be honest with you. This guy would go right here, and then we have a white one for the oxygen somewhere. Ah, right here, of course, I'm gonna run into uh, troubles once again, but I think I'm gonna fix that off camera. This stupid switch <laughs> it just always gets in my way. Let's at least do it with the water and the CO2. We want to swap this into a three-way junction or a corner junction. Yeah, this looks about right. And one of you and one of you. Perfect. That is attached. 
So yeah, you get the basic gist. And now we can actually already see that uh, the gases are distributing themselves amongst the large tank and the portable tank. So that's kind of reassuring. Let's also do it with the water tank then. Stay, stay. Yeah, there we go. And we should be seeing some water filling up, hopefully. Well, at least it's going down at this point. So it is going into the pipes. Maybe it's because of the pressure regulator. Let me try something. We have just a little something here in this canister. And I'm pretty sure uh, we should be able to... Come on, let me... Oh man, then fall on the ground. I'm just gonna open it up until it has nothing in there, which it hasn't right now. So let's close it again. I think right now it's closed, actually. Now I want to put this right there, and then I want to grab my blue spray paint again. Because this canister should also be blue. Let me actually see. Yeah, look at that. There's actually something in the canister right now. Can I paint it blue like that? Yes. Great. Okay, so this is my water canister as of this point. So that means the pressure regulator actually does suck the gases out of there. That's why we didn't see anything on the display. It went directly into this pipe and not into the tank. Hmm. You know what? I'm not happy with the situation. Let me swap this around somehow. So that we have the first three gases completed. Alright, there we go. I swapped everything around. We should be fine at the moment and we should also be filling up. But I have my switch right here. The only thing I want to do is uh, let's have a look at it once the walls are done and everything looks uh, beautiful. We can do it up to this point, of course, but right here I still need the connections. I have uh, both the connections, actually all three connections. Let's go ahead and make a junction right here and a corner piece right there. And I think that's all I need for the next tank attachment. Yeah, there we go. So we can now finish everything right here. I'm still missing the pressure regulator, but I'm not gonna go on a mining trip right now. So see you in just a second once that's fixed up. Beautiful, it's getting daytime as we finish it. Oh yes, I'm actually already in love with what this room potentially could become. So I guess the only thing that's left to do is actually fix up the flooring and the walls here and kind of give it the finishing touch. I hope I won't have to open it up every episode, but I just want to give this episode a nice thumbnail. Let me see, uh, can I attach this? Yes, oh, great, great. Look at that, guys. I'm really happy with the rearrangement so far. I'm gonna do the flooring here as well. So far so good. I'm going to finish this. I think there is uh, four more gases left or maybe only three more. But I'm gonna do them all off camera in the same exact manner, nothing needs to change, except of course that we need tons and tons more copper, apparently. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it, have a great time, and hopefully I'm going to catch you soon. Bye bye.